Yo, 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 and here we are today in Hay for the Mar Smith Show. And we have got the Hay Mardi Gras. So we're going to go down and see if we can talk to some punters. Howdy ho there, everybody. I love your beard. I think you must be the king of the Mardi Gras, is that right? <laughs> kind of, yeah. Are you a local? Queen of the Hay Plains. Queen of the Hay Plains. So what uh, motivated you to come out and uh, march today? Free love for everyone. <laughs> okay, so what do you think about having a Mardi Gras in Hay? It's honestly, I never imagined this day would ever happen, and it's the best thing that has ever happened to me. Now, entire life, this is just unfavorable. It's am amazing. I, am I right to say that you're the person we read about in the paper that actually helped to make this happen? Yeah. <laughs> and what was your name? Liam. Liam Davies. Okay, Liam. So, what actually motivated you to get this whole thing started? Well, honestly, I, I grew up as an openly gay teenager in Hay, and it wasn't super easy. It, was, it wasn't hard, but it wasn't easy. And to be able to do this, to help other um, young gay people and young LGBTI youth in, rural, in the regional um, community, it's just exactly what I wanted to do. And to know that people don't have to choose between living in the country and living as an openly LGBTI person. I'm part of the committee. I'm also gay, and uh, it is hard to grow up in a country town. This is the best thing that's ever happened to Hay. I never thought it'd happen in Hay, believe it or not, but I can't believe it. It's just fantastic. Fantastic, the whole lot. It's absolutely spectacular. For it to be held in such a regional centre is absolutely fantastic and have this sort of representation. And the town just really got behind it. Everyone is so supportive, and the Hay Mardi Gras committee has done a fantastic job, so kudos to them. And what's your name? I'm Teddy Cook. And what, what brings you here today, Teddy? Well, I mean, how could we miss it? How could we miss something like this? This is an incredible moment in Australian history of inclusion. And to be in Hay at this tiny population and to be celebrating this community in this way is just immense and incredible. And I'm so honoured that ACON can support this work in regional New South Wales. I just feel so proud right now. I'm overwhelmed. And what's the support been like in Hay for this event? Absolutely huge. I mean, every, almost every shop in Hay, in, the Loch in Lachlan Street, the main drag, is just covered in rainbows. When you go down the parade, it is so full. It is really going down the entire length of the street. And the amount of people who are watching and cheering and is just incredible. Incredible. How's it all going today? Good, great. Um, he's supporting my daughter and it's brought us a lot closer. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, yeah. In what way? Uh, I wasn't very supportive at first, but now I'm supporting it and love it very dearly and it's made us both accept each other a lot better. That's fantastic. So are you from Hay? Yes, yes. We yes. live in Hay. We live in Hay. Okay, so what were some of the biggest challenges you had to overcome with your daughter being gay? Oh, lots. Didn't want to accept it thought it was ridiculous but then I came to this all the training how much love there is around and so yeah so I changed me point of view because we're all human yeah we all should love one another no matter what we are or who we are yeah. fantastic thanks for talking to us I'll come over to your daughter now and what's your name I'm Kiana Kiana so you're born and bred in Hay yeah and what were some of the biggest challenges you found in growing up in you know such a remote area being gay it, it was kind of hard at first because i have like depression and all that so it's kind of hard like coming out and that and like and but my mom and dad and that's very supportive but everyone else like they pick on me and that and coming to kill myself but yeah i'm getting there good to hear i'm yeah. good to hear what brings you out here today um belief in equality of marriage and personal uh beliefs i guess about you know equal rights um, I think I'm absolutely amazed by the crowd support. Absolutely blown away by that. It's bigger than Anzac Day, actually. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? You can say anything. <laughs> um, so that's probably it. I think it's the town actually coming out and embracing it in physical presence, which is great. Yeah. Howdy -ho. Hey, boys. Hello. Looking good. Thank you. Are you guys from Hay? No, we're from Sydney. Oh, so you've ditched the Sydney Pray to come out to Hay. I think the local community needs the support, so we thought we'd do our bit and travel down here, so that's why we're here. Have you been here before? We've driven through but never stopped, so this is the first time. Is this what you'd expect to see out in a place like Hay on a day like today? On a day like today, but on a usual day, no, no. this is very different. Yeah. Hello, hello, I love your little horse out the front here. Thank you very much. This is Santos. Santos, okay, so do you, um, 
what brings you out here today? Well, I live in Hay. I live in Hay and I wanted to support this um, fantastic parade. It's all about bringing people to Hay and showing people that we accept everybody for who they are. Yes. Okay, so you're the general manager of Hay Council. Hi, Hay, 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 and what's your name? Amanda Spaulding. Nice to meet you, Amanda. So let's walk and talk. Okay. Let's walk and talk. <laughs> I'm a general manager. I can't do both at the same time. <laughs> What are your overall thoughts about what's going on here today? Um, I actually think we need to move the pool nearer to the town so that it's not such a long journey. Because <laughs> some of us are wearing heels. <laughs> oh, look, I just think this is absolutely fabulous and it's a community led event and uh, haven't they done a great job? Supported by the council with the traffic management and printing and the pool and everything, but yeah, fabulous community event. It's really been, you know, great for people to express themselves. Okay, what do you think will be the sort of longer term benefits of a parade like this? Oh, look, people are talking about issues. Uh, we've got a lot of tourists. This will happen every year. A lot of people have already booked for next year. So look at the amount of support it's got from the town. It's just fantastic. So I think we're getting the dikes on bikes next year. They had to be in Sydney this year for the 40th anniversary, but we're hoping summer Sydney will come. But yeah, it's fantastic and it's a, it's a great story. Hey. We are the Sisters of Petrol Indulgence, Adelaide House. Uh, we give out condoms for safe sex and lube packs. Uh, we promulgate safe sex amongst the community, gay, straight and otherwise. Uh, we raise funds for people living with HIV and it's a worldwide order. And, 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 and so you're from Adelaide, did you say? We're from Adelaide. Okay. And you've made the journey right across the Hay Plains as you've made it here. What do you think so far? Oh, I think it's fantastic how the com local community has come out for it. It's, I've never seen anything like it before. It's brilliant. I mean, Sydney, yeah, you'd expect it, but Hay being such a small community, the way the community has come out for the parade, I think is fantastic.